and it's a Sunday morning and all is quiet all the units are shut up everyone's at home except over here way over here we have Lister's workshop and he's in there now working away as he does every Sunday because he's so busy and I'm here because he's going to let me have a little play on one of his big lathes because our lathe in the workshop is too small so let's go inside and let's uh, see what I'm going to do today and the first thing of course is to run a little guide hole in there just to get things started off so here we go power on Okay, so now these two braces have now been fully machined and they've had three things done to them. They started out life as a solid bar, 3mm alloy bar, and they've since been drilled all the way through to about here, so they've been hollowed out. At this end we left it solid so it can be machined like this and slimmed down. And at this end it's been beveled of course to match the angle needed for the swing arm here. So let's just see how that might look something like that once well, it's been welded on and obviously this end here has been made or machined down to be the same thickness i think it's about um, 20 millimeters as this plate here so next step is to get it welded on something like that right so where's that going to go now we're going to have to wall this or do yeah, something yeah, with yeah, it because yeah. i can't clamp anywhere can we well yeah you know what i mean yeah, that. see there's nowhere to clamp is there because no. there's nothing to clamp onto no well i can hold it one end and so, is, is that got to go down? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. How's about that? How's about that? How's about that? How's about that? How's about that, guys and gals? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Americans watch this will not have a clue what you're trying to do. They'll, they'll think you're a, a pirate or something. What do you mean? Well, because they don't know who Tommy Cooper is. Yeah. <laughs> ball bag. Bag ball. Ball yeah. bag. Ball. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, you've got me going now, yeah. You've got me going now. Fucking had it now. I went to the doctor the other day. I said, yeah. Doctor, I, I keep feeling like a pair of curtains. Well, put yourself together. Put yourself together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that, that was all when Moses was all yeah. like that one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold it here. Hey, I've got another one for you. One. I went to the doctor the other day. Yeah. I said, Doctor, one day I feel like a TP. The next day I feel like, like a wing rat. Yeah. He said, I know your problem. You're too tense. Too tense, yeah. <laughs> old ones yeah, are the old ones are the best. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm going to look away now. I'm doing a bit. It's not going yet, is it? Um, don't know, I can't remember now. Right, just watch your eyes. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see that's uh, started. That's right. what you want. That's what I want. So now it needs to be fully welded. Right, we'll have to get some heat onto that now. Yeah, okay.
okay, Jeff? Are we all done? I believe so. I won't yeah. touch it because it's very, very hot. So I won't touch it. So we've welded this and this. That's fine, but this little bit here just needs to be smoothed off a wee bit. Yeah. And, um, got it. Blended hot. in, yeah, as you blended call it. And I can feel the heat blending. of that from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's great. Oh, right. you can do your breakfast on that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, job done. I can now go home and drink some more tea. But before then, I've got to pay some money. So No, no, you're not paying me any money. All right. It's, it's all free. It free. Oh, great. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. And if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> and now, here's a swing arm. Back home again and cool down because before it was incredibly hot. Couldn't get near it. And the wells look pretty neat and tidy, as always, from Jeff. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I was originally going to grind down these wells, smooth them all off, and get them as smooth and clean as possible. But as I look at it now, I'm thinking to myself, you know something, I quite like it as it is. It looks kind of industrial, you can see how it's been made. So I may well just leave it like this. I mean, sure, I clean up some of these wells here. Look, this little mark here where the heat's affected the surface. But apart from that, yeah, I might just leave it. And of course, in truth, when it's on the bike, sort of looking like that, you can't really see down here anyway. Um, and then the other thing that I may change my mind on is um, I was going to have it anodized. And that's fine, but the more I look at it now, I'm thinking to myself, I've got to polish it anyway, I've got to spend hours and hours and hours cleaning up this surface and getting every mark and nick off it, which will take hours and hours and hours. When I finish doing that, it'll look pretty much like mirror polished. And maybe, just maybe, I'll leave it like that. Um, it will be a pain to keep it like that, of course, on a bike, but that bike is... Um, my sort of summer bike anyway, it doesn't get ridden in rain and salt or anything like that. So um, it's just one more thing to polish on the rest of the bike which is full of aluminium and so on. So we'll see, I haven't decided yet. Um, but anyway, to polish this thing is going to take hours and hours and hours as I say. So I'm not going to show you that on the video because it's just really boring. So uh, we'll leave it there and I will obviously show it you when it's all finished and ready to rock because I've still got to make New spindle, of course, the battery box uh, for the battery. That battery is going to be a lithium iron battery, which weighs in about 12 pounds lighter than the standard lead acid version. 12 pounds is what? Almost six kilos, quite a weight saving, particularly in unsprung weight. And in fact, the whole swing arm weighs about half that of the steel version on the bike at the moment. So again, I'm saving about 16 or 17 pounds. What's that in kilos? I'm not sure. Um, What's that, maybe seven or eight kilos? So altogether, it's quite a significant weight saving. But I'm not finished there because another change I'm gonna do with this swing arm is I'm gonna fit a lighter, more modern Brembo rear caliper and mount. And that should also save me perhaps a pound or whatever. But one thing I've forgotten about this is that talking about brakes, I've forgotten to add the mount for the torque arm, which should come back and support the brake mount, which goes around about there completely forgot about it on the day. I mean, I knew I had to do it, but I forgot today. So I need to make one of those and then come back to Jeff and get it welded on. But that can wait for another day. So anyway, that's the progress so far. So thanks for watching and cheers.